Are they immortal or what? <laughs> I, like, there's, there's like, non-stop. I wouldn't say we're immortal. Because you're, you're the only British people I know. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say anybody's immortal. Uh, Did your parents take no. down the, the picture of the Queen that they had all over their mantle and then put up <laughs> put up this photocopy of Prince Charles or King Charles, <laughs> I guess. Have one. Uh, King, King Charles. Charles? King Charles. King Charles. There we go. No. Doesn't ring no. off that. No. Did they have to replace the entire tea tea sets and stuff like that? No. 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 Okay. Just smashing not them, quite, you know. Yeah. Not quite that. No, no. Every time I've walked through the lounge room in the last couple of days. Um, God save yes, the king has been playing is, in the <laughs> No, God no, that'd be, that'd be gross. You fucking idiots. No, 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 there's been like Channel 7 or whatever. Um, to, yeah, just with constant English news and, you know. Hey, just so you guys didn't forget, Queen's still dead. Um, Currently. Just, Ima- imagine if you walk through your lounge room one time, they're like, we fucked up, guys. She's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, they currently... They're currently doing like they have to do currently do like the tour with the body where she has to go up to fucking Yeah, I was just saying um, I saw that Scotland on the news just stuff. before and my literal reaction to watching all this, they're like, Oh, she'll go to her down here, then they're gonna fly through the sky, she's gonna jetpack off, there's gonna be snipers on the roof and stuff. I was like, Oh, what are they gonna fucking yeah. kill her again? Like what the fuck is they pretending? No, no, no. <laughs> well, just, I mean, there would be sure. one like massive like terrorist thing that like somebody came and like I guess blew so. the body up or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Also, just in case she has some crazy TikTokers like of, trying to get a TikTok with the Queen, we, like we don't know exactly what took her out. You know, could be like some super strain virus that could. I think it was some. Out. I think it was called uh, old age. That's the thing they got. <laughs> oh. No, I felt really bad because not not felt really bad, but like I was not laughing. I don't even know how to best describe it. But the night before this happened, I read the the news article that was like, "Oh, the Queen's been kept." Um, under medical supervision because she's, you know, she's not well at the moment, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, nah, there's no way she dies. She's not fucking given the throne to Charles. She knows that's a fucking terrible, just mis- terrible idea. She's going to live for another 20 years to, to just to spite the little fucker. And then next morning I woke up and it's like, oh, right. Yeah. Non-indestructible. After seeing how much effort... And money is wasted on all these shit that is going on at the moment to uh, to uh, all this fanfare or whatever to call it mo- time of mourning. I guess officially uh, everything that's going on. I think she was doing everyone a favor by sticking around for ninety six years because <laughs> she, she was like, I don't want to. I don't want to have to make his all go through that. We don't. We shouldn't do this on a regular basis. Yeah. Once yeah, every ninety six years is not it bad. Happens seventy something years that she's been in charge and reigning. So. In some ways, the English are worse than Australians at. Uh, finding a reason to have days of work. Like, don't get me wrong, Australia has a fuck ton of public holidays. Like, but, you know, she had her jubilee, and everybody's like, we're taking a fucking week off work. Mm. And now this has happened, and most of that country is just going to be at a standstill for the next two weeks. Um, yeah, there's just a lot, a lot going on. And it's, you know, it's a big, it is a big thing. Like, it's a massive thing in terms of, there is... The percentage of people on this world that has only known her as the queen, and like there hasn't been a king, like they weren't alive when um, her father was alive, and she's kind of just been a staple in pop culture and society in general. Like uh, I think all forms of media, all forms of of uh, digital and written media, at some point have some reference to the queen. There's, there's always, you know, everybody, at least in us, for us in Commonwealth countries, you have her on a, on your money every time you, you get out a cool pineapple note. You, she, she's just right there, and you. Uh... Do you know my, my funny, <laughs> my funny. I think I told Ash. I did tell Ash. My funny was like you did tell both of us. Oh, did I? I did about yeah. fuck with the girl at work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here's a, here's no a good joke, everyone. Show. If if everyone wants to to see if they can play this on someone at work, if you've got someone as gullible as I do at work, um, the <laughs> I told the girl at work that uh our money what the money wasn't going to work anymore because. That has the, the the queen on it, so it was going to expire. So yeah, if, you're, if anyone wants to play that game at home, and uh, when, when you can find someone who believes, that's quite entertaining. <laughs> got him! Well, got him! I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I'm kind of sick of it, to be honest. I'm yeah, over it. <laughs> it's going to be the news for the next two weeks. At, at least, least, I mean, bloody ridiculous. Big news Nothing today. We're getting a public holiday. 
Mm. Fucking we are. Seconds. Uh, yep. Victoria only, gets uh, Victoria gets a four day weekend. Yeah, look, let's fucking I'm, go. You, you, you tell me just there's no the twenty third. I mean, no, I don't understand why. You tell me there's not a conspiracy theory there. <laughs> I'm well, saying there's a the first conspiracy theory. AFL Grand Final back in mm-hmm. Melbourne. You know? They're yeah, getting building you, the build up. Well, no, isn't the thing isn't the thing? No, no, no. That you you not- tell me why the fuck it's on that day. Well, isn't it because there is a combination of public holidays for multiple different states around that? Like I think another no. there's no, no, no it's no, because like that's when Al- or- Anthony Albanese gets back. <laughs> I yeah. believe that's the explanation I got. That's the day he comes back, so that's when we're having the holiday. Yeah, fucking sure. Because yeah. he yeah, needs right. to—he needs a day off for jet lag. Yeah, you, you try to explain to me why it isn't on the twenty third, and I'm going to tell you why. It's, it's because it, there's a, there was a few too many Victorians voting this, and they were like, mm, "We really <laughs> have on. a public holiday on the twenty third, so that would kind of like." But then if you screw put it on us. Monday, <laughs> if you put it on the <laughs> Monday, I think WA or one of the other states has like a Labor Day, or no, 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 WA has their Queen's birthday is that weekend. That's awkward. <laughs> like they're going to mourn and celebrate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it's it's that weekend. So. That was the other thing that. Well, they got to change that public holiday. It'll be the Queen's King's birthday. Yeah, well, that, it will be. But, yeah. oh, well, I think I don't know. It's I don't think they'll change that just yet. Next year. This is this is other thing. Well, that you, I'm actually like, interested if it's the Queen's or King's birthday because technically he's not king yet. No, he is. D- didn't he no, sign no, no, the paperwork? King, oh, no, he's no, done, no, the he's coronation king, hasn't been. He's not. He hasn't been crowned. So he's technically like the whatever they call it, the king in waiting or whatever the proper term is. He could, he could die before um, then. Man, how unlucky! <laughs> <laughs> Charles, I'm happy we just let that idea sit there. <laughs> how, just say how it could happen. Would that be? Dude finally gets it. Finally, he's like moving up in the world. He looks stressed. COVID. I'm trying to say, actually, hilarious thing. The, the I find it funny. It's just part of the whole British politics and everything, and of course the the drama that is around uh, Charles and, um, you know his previous marriage with Diana and fucking England loves Diana and the amount you know what yeah, the, the amount her name has been, fuck me the amount <laughs> her name has been brought up in just general talking of news in like it's just fucking stupid, but I appreciate that the Queen was like made sure that Camilla could not be just the straight the queen. Like, no. she has stipulated that there has to be the, the appropriate title um, for her rather than just straight being Queen Camilla, which I think is hilarious and a massive flipping of the bird to everybody. As she hit the ground. Mm. Um, like- she hit this other thing that she's, sorry, she's written a letter and the letter can't be open for 63 years. What? Yeah. Why? She wrote. She wrote, she wrote a letter. She wants to express her true be... feelings about Charles and uh, Prince Andrew yeah. and all all her children. You know, and she assumes they won't be around for sixty yeah. years. Yeah. It's been yeah. She's written a letter. She's been putting. It's just gonna, it's someone's just going to open it in sixty one years, and it's going to be like, it's right. I did hate black people. Like that's all it's going to be. Like, is it? <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> it I feel it's funny. You mentioned last week that the. the England's got a, a female prime minister at the moment, and I was like, I don't fucking know. It was like her <laughs> first day on the jo- like it was like her first day on the job, and she had to announce that the queen had passed. No, away. apparently she met the queen, and then the queen died. Yeah, she met the queen. All right. She like, probably- yeah, it was. Yeah, it's just- there can only be one woman in power around here. Stop <laughs> 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 oh, Fucking hell. Uh, how do you feel, Kieran? Is there, there's only yeah, again, there's only British person here now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> in my my boiling like point for this. No, it's oh. not trap. It's my boiling point. I've seen a lot of really British person here. <laughs> How do you feel about paying reparations? <laughs> I was like, this should be bad, and I need to watch what I say. How do you, no? How, how do you feel about uh this this whole thing that people people getting upset saying you can't you can't make fun of the you can't make fun of the Queen or or anything like that at the moment. Um, I think with anything there should be a modicum of respect. Um, there was some stuff uh, I kind of read on Twitter and burst out laughing, and I couldn't. You don't want to repeat myself. it. Uh, to- I don't want to repeat it because it was fucking dark. But I was like, I, I feel still feel bad, and I think there has to be some kind of respect, even if people didn't like her or don't care for her or or hold against her kind of um archetypes and, and wrongdoings that you know monarchy has done throughout the eras, um. I think there still should be a lot more respect, not just to her, but to her family as well. 
Like it's it's a uh, just because they're the royal family and monarchists don't shouldn't mean that they're free game as soon as she's passed away for people to start making shit jokes and 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 poor poor taste jokes just in general right. about it. I like, agree. I agree. But he's <laughs> fucking laughing to himself already. I agree. If you're gonna make fun of the royal family, you should have started prior to her dying, which is why I'm fucking allowed to say fuck the I queen. Feel like even out of a bit of a bit of respect, you should just, you know, give it a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Been a couple it's, days. it's been a couple of days now. You know? It's been a couple of days. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Give it, give it a little bit more. Well, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Here's, here's, here's the thing, and I, I, I don't feel like this is a. I feel like this. Is, I don't even feel like this is a hot take. <laughs> what do I care? <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, I no, that's fair. That. What do um, I fucking care? And here's the other thing. You know what? Even, even more than why do I care? Which is my general feeling. Why do I fuck care? I don't know this lady. She did nothing, right? She um. The Americans getting sad. That's a part even more so. I'm oh, Australian. That's the bit where I'm like. Yeah. You motherfuckers kicked them out. Yeah. You dumped the tea in I'm the like, fucking river. I'm part like, of. I'm part. I'm in Australia, right? I'm. I'm part of the Commonwealth. I'm. I'm I, and I'm like, I don't fucking care that you died. To I be completely know. honest. I think, um, like, but the Americans are like, it's so sad. I'm like, you didn't know she existed until fucking Netflix made a show about it. Like, did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's uh, people, Helen Mirren played is. a great role. Oh, did a great role. That's true. That's true. That's I've, great. I've always. It's always amusing to see people in comment threads especially on twitter at the minute kind of bringing up some pretty bad transgressions against her um and a lot of it was just covered in the crown so it's like yeah this was all covered in the crown dude like just get over it like not get over it but <laughs> i i just this isn't breaking news it's not breaking news it's not anything massive i think she did a lot worth respecting yes there was um you know, colonization and stuff like that isn't. But how much of that was on her watch? You know, exactly a hundred percent. How much 100%. of that was done a hundred years and, before her? she was even born? The thing, the thing that's always uh, amused me or impressed me is just people are like, why does? Well, even if she didn't start the colonization of those people places, why hasn't she removed it? I'm like, well, she doesn't really I mean, have that power. Yeah, she's, she's not really, really just a figurehead. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's. Since the Magna Carta was written in, like, the 1500s, the the monarchy has not been, yeah. Yeah, not nothing, but she's she's a figurehead, she's a, like a, a, yeah, public figure piece, and and it's... She, really, what, she's got, probably got a little bit more power than, like, the, the, uh, Olympic mascots. Uh, There are, the royal family is a tourist attraction. There's no need for them to exist anymore. I don't know why they exist. Because they're a tourist attraction. The thing is, I think I think. Do she you did know how much job. money the paparazzi make off the royal family? I imagine it's a fair amount. You know, there's at least four different magazines that have published every month about just the royal family. I don't know. I think it's a very big thing for England's economy. This, this well. is one of my yeah. this is one of my favorite tweets. <laughs> Joking about the queen dying is not okay, whether you like her or not. She was someone's wife, mother, sister, cousin. This is a very hard day for that one man. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> wow. Ah. <laughs> no. uh, I fucking love that for me. That's a good one. 552,000 <laughs> likes. Oh, that's some good shit. Yeah. Hard Drive, hard drive did a great article too. What the Queen's death means for Splatoon 3 launch day meta. <laughs> I did read that one and I laughed at that one. Oh, that's so good shit. Uh, please be respectful when talking about the Queen. She was a head of state, you- a monarch, a mother to multiple pedophiles, and most importantly, a devoted cousin to her husband. <laughs> Sorry, this was it. <laughs> it's a Twitter quote that is um, Charles B. Like, and then it's a picture directly from Monty Python uh, of. Uh, King Arthur saying, I am your king, and one of the peasants going, I didn't vote yeah, for I you. Yeah, I didn't vote for you. Yeah. <laughs> I was making fun. That's oh, what I was, I was watching the the like the old mates playing the trumpets and like reading out this stuff or whatever. I was just like doing it. <laughs> I was just taking a bit before they're like, Oh hail the king. I was just like pretending it's like life of Brian when there's one dude in the back, like, Oh hail the queen. Oh fuck. So, no, oh hail the king. Oh hail the king. Sorry, my <laughs> bad. Yeah, sorry. 
I met the queen. I met the king. My bad. He's not the king. He's you, just a very naughty boy. <laughs> very naughty it's boy. interesting. Apparently, I I read like people were being sworn in as Canadian citizens, and the whole process had to been stopped because stopped, yeah. part because of the swearing in was changeover. yeah. Apparently, yeah. swearing to her. Yeah. The thing is, this is now going to be years of people of England singing their national anthem, and millions of English people being like. God save our gracious queen. Fuck king. Yeah, fuck, king. King. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Nah, fuck. just. I also hear Queen are changing their name. You know, in respect. Uh, <laughs> Post mortem, they're changing it to. Yeah. King. yeah. Or they find they're retiring. You know, in respect, yeah. you know, that would probably be the better option. <laughs> fucking hell! What? They hasn't been the se- fucking yeah. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ever since Freddie. Passed away. I mean, have they been the same? You know, you know which is kind of sad because Queen reached the height of its popularity after he died. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, Queen reached the height of its popularity after he died because of Wayne's World. I mean, I think they had a second resurgence. Nah, it was like like so Queen never made a big impact in the United States until Bohemian Rhapsody was played in Wayne's World. Fucking Americans. I was, some, I was playing some trivia game the other day, and they were like, which is the first Harry Potter book? And the fucking, I'm like, Philosopher's Stone. Oh, it and it comes up the options, and it's a Sorcerer's like, Stone. I'm like, we're getting into like, semantics now. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah. like, we've got a problem here. Yeah, fucking Americans That's made this quiz, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> which is funny. I, I, find it, I do find it funny that, like, when they brought out Harry Potter, like, the first book into America, they're like, look, Americans aren't going to know what a philosopher is. Yeah. So, so we'll make it easier. Let's dumb it down to sorcerer, yeah. you know. Yeah, it sounds magical enough. Yeah, they're, they're like, yeah. oh yeah, the 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 grade whatever kids reading it like myself that in, in other countries can pronounce philosophers and put up that. But yeah, it's too many them. syllables for Americans. Yeah, yeah. 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 Americans they will go sorcerers. Just got, got to have that too. Yeah. Got to move the syllables down. Um, but yes, yeah, I mean it's been an interesting week between I, my my Twitter timeline is either just Queen jokes. The, the not Queen the band the, the, the Queen, queen. Yep. The, queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the recently passed Queen um, Queen Liz yep. yes Li- old Liz you know yeah. you know Liz Lizzie you know Lizzo. Lizzie you know not Lizzo, okay. Liz too yeah. yeah Liz Liz too Liz three um even just old Queen just like people like jokes about that or just old CM Punk memes like that is pretty much my Twitter timeline the dude that is week. just it's been a rough week I don't know which shirt to wear should I wear my CM Punk shirt or should I wear my Elite shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Ash has been we, waiting we, all we, fucking recording to finally have a chance to do that bit. <laughs> I was, I'm we, waiting we, to see where the segue was. <laughs> I knew it was coming, and I nailed it. Did you have like an awkward day, like an awkward 24 hours where you had to keep swapping shirts? It's like he yeah, different it's, things. Came CM out, Punk like, is right. Yeah, they they barged into his room. They're meant to be. They no, super kicked his door down. His they room. kicked they down his super door. Super kicked the door down. They super kicked the door down. Super They're meant the to be. Down. Professional employers, why are they knocking down the door of one of their employees? That's like a workplace. That's a HR issue. I love. And then it's like, the, then the other dude, the shoe dropped the other way. I like how everybody was trying to play out that Kenny was this big bad person, and then the other side of the story comes out and he goes, "Kenny was actually more worried about CM Punk's dog Larry. before he did anything else." And it's like, well, fuck. Okay, shit. Now that's almost too wholesome and too good to believe. Yeah. So for but people who that. don't follow wrestling, <laughs> I feel we need to explain this story. First one, not so much. Yeah, the first one doesn't really. I feel like that's on the news. You know. Yeah. CM Punk came in after he won the world title. Uh, after losing it like a week and a half before. After mm-hmm. being out for like three months after winning it. Uh, had a press... Co- had... AEW have their press conference after every single pay per view. Comes out. Media scrum. Media scrum comes out straight away, just bad mouthing anybody and everybody. Talking about how he uh, doesn't have a relationship with Cole Cabana anymore. They shouldn't be bringing him up around him anymore. He had nothing to do with him going to Ring of Honor or being kicked off AEW. Calling out Hangman Adam Page and then uh, pretty much sticking the finger to the EVPs of uh, the company for, you know. It is said MJF which apparently sucks too. we've learnt now was intentional and rehearsed. Yes. So in the in the week. So, so what we're saying <laughs> do you think the reporter in the crowd was a plant so we could have an excuse to No. No? No, I don't no. think the way it was done. Because if it was a plant, 
uh, they would have let the reporter ask a question mm. and like and let it kind of be a natural thing rather than CM Punk do the equivalent of Oi, you can't. Oh, I've got a problem <laughs> with you. Like it's the most random out way. He goes, sits down, and I think the dude's name's Nick, the reporter, or whatever. Hey, Nick, you are uh, you still you still uh, doing stand up? And he goes, Yeah. He goes, Who do you used to do stand up with? Scott Colton. Oh, uh, Scott Colton. Yeah, well, it's a pity I have to talk about this, but fuck him. Fuck his mum. <laughs> <laughs> no, not fuck his mum. That was the one person who got off easy. Okay. <laughs> you know, he had a lot of respect for Scott's mum. Yeah, okay. Just not Scott. Just not yeah. Colt Cabana. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been really funny. And then Bobby Fish uh, does, like, a big pose. He's like, fuck CM Punk. He's a little bitch. And then Kenta, and, like, says that he's in Bobby Fish's pose. He's, GTS, like, yeah. he's like, he's like, he's like, the GTS. And then Kenta, like, quote, retweets it <laughs> last night. He's like, I totally agree with you. And then someone in the replies posted the tweet Kenta, Kenta posted, like, a couple of years ago or last year or something where he's like, fuck CM Punk <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. So, uh, it's been a... It's been a roundabout fucking... I will say, though, impressive... AEW is mighty impressive at coming out of these reasonably unscathed and with their shit together. The company itself, yeah. The company itself, and like even like the product that it's putting out. Like I think this has now happened a couple times with various different issues, with um, various different wrestlers being kind of accused of different things, or... Um, th- whereas, you know, WWE might have a weird time scrambling around itself and kind of awkwardly putting it together. Like, I couldn't imagine what would happen in WWE if all of a sudden four of its biggest stars all got put on suspension. Well, the thing or- is, Riddle, Matt, Matt Riddle is like pretty constantly, like even most recently there was one of some one of his girlfriends or something, even a couple of weeks ago, sharing all these screenshots and voice memos he, uh, <coughs> he sent her and all this stuff, like, and accusing him of a bunch of stuff. And all of that, like, just apparently goes, like, it doesn't, it doesn't even hit the, the field, it seems. Like, it's, I see it, but, like, it doesn't seem to affect WWE at all. Like, they don't, they don't pull, they don't pull him off for a couple of weeks to investigate, you know, anything like that. Whereas when the Sammy Guevara thing happened, where they pulled up that tape from uh, a few years back, where he said he wanted to, from the podcast, um, Sasha Banks, the, yeah. yeah, do something to Sasha Banks, um, he he was pulled straight off and put into that month of hmm. whatever rehab or not really rehab, whatever yeah, it was, like, uh, like uh, learning about training, like, cultural, like, cultural training, training or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and then he came out and you know um, they all made friends apparently and. You know, he said he's grown up since then, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, like, that was pretty, like, instantaneous that he was, like, as soon as that clip circulated, it was like, all right, you're off sort of thing. So they usually react a lot faster. I mean, like, a lot, definitely a lot different to WWE, I think, when it comes yeah. to HR issues. So, um, I mean, as a company, they're always going to have HR issues. You can't control everyone, I guess. But yeah. I can tell you what, Tony Khan really didn't expect his biggest guy to be the <laughs> yeah. guy. Oh, He didn't it. think you would have to strip four people of their titles last this week yeah and uh, the thing three of them be like the first people to ever hold yeah. those titles hold yeah it for like less than 24 hours and they lost the trio's title so and then CM punk's like every time he fucking wins this title he just loses it so like the day later well he was in- he got injured again and apparently he was going to be out yeah. eight months anyway so I mean- he's going to be out months eight months anyway so um but yeah i don't know what they're going to do about that i have no idea i feel like he's either gonna have to Really come out with the most sincere apology and agree to have something to do or massive image massive, rehabilitation. Yeah, massive image rehabilitation because although I see some people online being like massive CM Punk like super fans with their blinders on, being like "fuck the mm-hmm. league," the majority of people I feel who are like neutral or you know like more common, they're very much like CM Punk aren't writing this. And all news reports I've I've read from reputable uh, wrestling journalists uh, apparently say word behind the word in the locker room is most people agree that CM Punk is like he's gonna have to do a lot to to be welcomed back in that locker room at this stage um after everything he said and done so yeah it's uh it's, I, it's <laughs> I've never seen something like I couldn't have I couldn't have guessed this I'll tell you what couldn't have guessed it all. yeah crazy Freaking crazy even if you imagine like a year out like, 12 months ago, he came out to the largest wrestling pop and return in recent wrestling memory. And 12 months later, he has been stripped of the title and suspended, ongoing, and potentially fired from a company. Mm-hmm. And 
torched so many fucking bridges in the process. You kind of look at it, you kind of start looking back at a lot of the those rumours that there were a lot of politics issues in WWE and most of it was I inside mean, yeah. the problem. <laughs> Since it's come out, like, a lot, his run in WWE is kind of being looked at in, in a different light. Like, everybody keeps bringing up that uh, Triple H promo where he pretty much calls it, calls out Sam Punk as claims that he's uh, agent for change and the like, voice of the voiceless is bullshit and just he wanted to see him. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen a lot of old clips and stuff post up recently, even, like, one where from the Jericho cruise a couple of years ago where where Cody Rose was on the podcast with Jericho and the two of them are making fun of CM Punk and Cody Rhodes is like bringing up a story where CM Punk would walk into the walk into the locker room and be like, Hey guys, it's the locker room leader and everything and him uh, Cody Rhodes and Jericho are like this fucking dude thinks he's the locker room leader. You know what I mean? Like he's like acting yeah. all high and mighty, like sort of thing. So especially in a time period where Taker was still very active within the WWE. Yeah, it's, it's just yeah. Um, mm, what else we'll do that? Uh, yeah, like, everyone like, respects. Ta- everyone respects was still Taker coming out once still... a year. Yeah, but everyone was no like Taker back then. Like Taker was still... not during the summer of punk though. Hundred percent, he was because he was on SmackDown during that time. Did you see Kevin Owens like uh, subtweet? Or very subtle subtweet. Yes. Yeah. So as all this is going on, he just posts that picture of him versus the Undertaker as the main event at WrestleMania, which everyone's took as him being like, "Ha ha, I did the thing that you never got to do," and yeah. tying into the fact that Kevin Owens is friends with the Elite, you know, sort of like "fuck you," making fun yeah. of my friends, sort of thing. And then there's also the news that comes shortly after about the Young Bucks have kind of sent. I don't believe that at all. Oh, that's completely no, that's complete no, 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 no. I believe I, no, no, no. I believe it. Not in terms of a right now thing. I believe it is a negotiation tactic for. I haven't seen anyone I would trust report that, and I don't think that's a real thing. Uh, I've seen Cultaholic report it. I don't trust is... Cultaholic. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Boo! No, they're good I... boys. Uh, good job. Yeah. No, yeah, is it a negotiation tactic? I 100 percent believe it could be possible, and if you know. If shit gets extremely serious, I don't see why they wouldn't make the jump. If they're like quite funny, if there's some sort of rift, this ends up in, with some sort of rift between them and Tony. Khan. It does make you think, Super- in retrospect, if the Cody Rhodes thing wasn't just about money, but more just like he fucking doesn't like seeing punk. <laughs> yeah, getting out of dodge before, yeah. or, or he saw the writing on the wall with. Tony being a massive CM Punk mark. CM Punk mark. <laughs> the thing is, I think today, I, I will say, Tony's reaction to this whole thing has earned my respect to back a bit because watching him during the scrum, I lost a lot of faith with Tony. I think he I was, was like, just he in was shock struck and, and didn't yeah, know what the fuck just, to do. Because yeah, I saw, not, but you, that, if no. you watch at the start, he's like, literally, you see his head being like, you can see he's just... <laughs> What like and then after he just me of- after that he just sits there like he's dead. It's like, like he's <laughs> he's gone. Like <laughs> it's like George Bush, George Bush in that uh in that classroom. Yes, you know very much. Yeah, he's uh he's he's gone. So he's got to uh, stay there and like just got to. We can pretend this is a work later. You know, yeah, that kind I, of thing. Yeah, I don't know if he was trying to already moment. work out what the yeah. fuck he's going to do from that moment. So um, yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. It's, it's a crazy story, though. I'm keen to. What well, I'm not keen. I'm just. Why? Well, I kind of. I'm keen to just see it sort of wrapped up. I need like a. I need like a. I know they're doing their investigation. They're having a third party do the investigation mm. or whatever. So it's official. Um, I'm like, come on. Like, how much work is it? Just. I need to. I need the final results. Yeah. I need to know how long. Who I'm did the biting? Results. Yeah. Who did the biting? Oh, that's got to be Ace. I'll report. But how? Ace. I don't know. Why? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He was like, got Did a someone just got? To... A... Well, no, no, no. The thing is, right? He bit somebody after Where? he threw a chair at somebody else's head. Yeah. Oh yeah. Was... So apparently, everyone agrees that the the deciding factor on this, the interesting thing is that. So at least, so the elite side of the story, and from all reports, is that they go to talk to Punk because Punk's out here being like, "Fuck yous," and if you got a problem, come talk to me. So they're like, "We'll go fucking talk to you." So, but apparently, they may have brought. The head of legal um, for AEW, Megan, because she witnessed everything. So there's no there's no confirmation that she was either just hanging around and saw, or the uh, the elite the brought boss. her as yeah. like a sort of an overseer. And um, because it's it's definitely a hundred percent that she saw everything, but that also maybe explains like 
maybe Christopher Daniels was brought uh, invited as well because he's head of um talent relations so talent relations. like he was yeah. probably if if the bucks and kenny were going for an official word maybe they asked those certain people to come just to be mediators daniel's because daniel's got suspended as well didn't daniel he? everyone there got suspended who was it who's a talent yeah. got suspended yeah so megan yeah. who's head of legal did not get suspended because she doesn't have a fucking wrestling contract <laughs> but everyone who has a wrestling contract got suspended yes like yeah. Michael Nakazawa, Brandon Cutler, Christopher Daniels, The Bucks. That's Kenny, right. All of Cutler them. Cutler was trying to film BTE. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It's crazy. Which, yeah, it's one of those things. And I think the big thing is who threw the first punches because both accounts say the other. Well, no. Threw the, the first punch. They, punk side, say they kicked the door in. So they were felt threatened. And that's why they punched. So oh, even they, they don't even say they threw the first punch. They just say that they they're saying the Bucks kicked the door down and they felt threatened and they punched. Is apparently oh, because I is. heard the, the thing I read was that the that punk side was saying that, that Matt sucker punched. No, him I haven't first. seen that side. I've just seen the, the yeah, kicking okay. the door down side of the story and all that sort of stuff. Whereas the Bucks side of the story is that they knocked on the door, uh, it got opened, and then punk. Uh, words got heated quickly and then punk for a punch and ace for a chair and shit just broke loose so yeah and then Kenny saved the dog I don't know like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Kenny saved the dog <laughs> yeah fucking I don't know crazy though um, I tell you what though if he um, if if it's if it is my final word on this is that if CM Punk spent three months in a look, looking into a mirror like preparing this crazy insane speech he was going to give at this press conference um like my dude needs some help like <laughs> it's like that's yeah. not a normal like that's not a normal thing to do i mean i understand that would have been like the biggest possible moment and the biggest possible impact you could have had to get that your message across but you know just What's go his on message, his podcast though? like that he's sick of talking about cocker banner he had nothing to do with it no was it, the only the only put so his whole thing is that in Hangman Page did one promo where he subtly hinted at Punk getting people kicked off the the roster. Um, so that's that was his whole thing. But that was something Hangman did mention, and, and that's something that definitely did happen. However, that was like all everyone was talking about on Twitter. There's like Twitter rumors everywhere. So for all you know, Hangman was just playing off the Twitter rumors, like and had no idea. Like he wasn't, you know what I mean? Like there's no. Yeah, don't steal it for three. <laughs> Yeah, and if you had a problem, you could just said something to him fucking afterwards, or like told Tony that you had a problem with Hangman, like going after this like particular topic, or you know, like something like that. I don't know. There is an entire media of wrestling websites or podcasts you got to go on and address your feelings in the three yeah. months. You know? Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's weird. All right, let's record our cake out. <laughs>